you were put in there with Magnum. Yeah, me, Magnum and I were going to get ready to start a big really program. a big program that would have made a tremendous amount of money. We would have probably did as well, if not better, than Chris Adams right. and me. Yeah. Because if I would have had the opportunity to work with Terry, because he was my friend, we could talk. Terry was friends with Dusty. Mm -hmm. I wasn't. Mm -hmm. If I told Dusty that I could make him a million dollars, well, he'd probably say, okay, because he don't care who says that. Right. I can make him a million. But my point is, Terry could be my voice. He's kind of your in. Terry could be my voice to the people that would stop me. Right. Or would have interest in stopping me from, I don't want, because they don't want me doing too good. What kind right. of pressure am I putting on? If, I, if Terry and I go and sell out uh, Scope, Right. Eight times in a row. Okay, now Dusty, it's your turn. You go. How much pressure is that putting on somebody? Th that's how you got to think. Magnum and I, with the program done properly, with me talking to Terry, saying, "Here's how we're going to do this. We'll have this whole thing. We'll run this thing for a year. And when this is over, Patty will belong to you mm -hmm. because she's getting ready to quit anyway. But if I ask her, she'll stay a little longer to mm -hmm. work this program. We could have twisted and tangled and wrote and created the damnedest story and had terrific. So, were they some of the ideas that you were? Coming up with, run a whole bunch. That was supposed to go, you were starting, I guess, in the fall. That was obviously going to go to Starcade and then yeah, more and more. Th they, what they was the final objective? Have her go with Magnum? No. See, they didn't know. Right. No, they, that's my thing. That was your. This is my. Magnum was pretty much on the same. Th this, this would be my thought. I didn't even spill this out to Magnum. Really? Because I didn't have to. So, this is, what would you have done? Th that's the, along those that. lines. Right. Because Terry, I would have had it all switched around. I would have, I would have, I would have first made Patty Magnum's worst nightmare. Mm -hmm. We, I would have interjected the movies that we used to do in Texas. Remember when Bill Mercer came to my house? Right, 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 and right. We used to do these little mini. Yeah. Remember when I did little the vignettes? Did the hay in the field with yeah, you'd have her Von doing Eric's. the work and then I mean, the, the washing of the dog the hose. yeah <laughs> let me just ask you how classic that was yeah. and how entertaining that right. was i already knew in my mind that if i just got the chance and get with terry i would have patty knocking on his door in the middle of the night talking to his wife <laughs> about something right i mean i would create i would have created enough of these things that it would have just been too much mm -hmm. it would have been i would have just created like i always did the to fit the scenario with terry and i it would have been great and eventually i think i would have had it all switched around because patty was going to quit anyway mm -hmm. and you would want terry to come out on top mm -hmm. because he is the hero uh, but i would have put him through hell and eventually turn baby face with terry mm -hmm. there you go hell yeah that would have been just like that easy no pain in the butt you know no big deal it's already done i already had it right then the car accident uh, you know terry was the last guy i wrestled he wrestled yeah. i think the only thing you guys ever shot was um one maybe you TV. did one match where he spanked her you mm -hmm. kept calling him out mm -hmm. then she slapped him he, he spanked, spanked her, her. You, then you guys had like a couple house show matches maybe or just don't maybe know. a couple maybe two yeah. the last one was in greenville greenville and that was the that was the night right and he was the last guy i was his the last guy he worked current. with and him and i are greenville's very, were on monday nights yeah yep. and him and i are very close friends to this day how did that change the whole locker room boy uh, was terrible. Yeah. It was devastating. It was one of the biggest devastating times in the business. You know, when you lose somebody like that, not totally, but we almost lost. We could have lost him if he wouldn't have been so strong. Mm -hmm. He was just such a strong guy. And seen that just completely, yeah, the whole booking just topsy-turvy. Yeah. Nikita turned babyface and all that. Yeah. 